Hi guys, today's art hack is what to do with a paper bag. My cat thinks they're a fun toy, but we're gonna use them for a whole nother use. So let's talk about what to do with this other than use it as a cat toy. So the first thing is we gotta get a brown paper bag. So if you're sending somebody to the grocery store these days, ask them to have your groceries put into brown paper instead of plastic one time so you can get a bag. If not, there are lots of other places you can get bags. You might have those brown paper lunch bags at your house. You might even have some gift bags that you've gotten in the past. Any bag will work. And keep this in mind, if you've got a large sheet of paper at home, there's templates on the internet that you can find on how to make your own bag. But I've got one of these. But the problem is, like most bags, there's something printed on the outside. So I can't use this to make my artwork. So first, I have to turn it inside out. It's a lot like turning a sock inside out. The only difference is the sock's really flexible and this isn't so much. So I have to go a little slower when I do this, but it works the same way. So I'm just gonna start to turn the edges down a little bit at a time. Don't get in a big hurry because that's when it'll tear. And you're just gonna kind of keep doing that until you get near the bottom. When you've gotten to the bottom, push the bottom through and start to pull it out the other side. Now, sometimes if you wrinkle the bag up a little bit first, that'll kind of soften it up a little bit. But then you gotta slowly push that bottom through and start to find your corners. And when you've found one, then you can sort of push that through with your hands a little bit at a time. Almost there. I've got two corners. Get corner number three here. And finally, corner number four. Beautiful. Okay, so now I've got my bag turned inside out. It's a blank canvas that I can use. There's nothing on it. So what can I do with it? Well, first of all, while it is this way, you can flatten it out, you can color it, decorate it, paint it, you can do all kinds of fun things to this bag uh, before you start to form it into something. You might wanna have a plan first of what you'd like to do, and today our plan is we're gonna turn it into a hat. So if you would like, again, paint, decorate, put designs and patterns all over this, but then to turn this into a hat, we're gonna go back to what we did when we turned it inside out, and we're gonna start to roll over this bottom edge again. This is gonna become the brim of our hat. Now, if you just roll it over a little bit, then I have a little brim and a big top to my hat. And you can see it goes on like that. It's a pretty silly looking hat and that's okay. But if you want the brim to be a little bigger and the top of the hat to be a little smaller, just roll it up a little bit more until you kind of get the shape that you're looking for. Kind of like that. All right, now I'll put my hat on. All right, so now I've got this really great hat. I've decorated it. I've got it all folded and rolled up. Now I'm ready for those finishing details. So this is where you can get some construction paper. Maybe you have yarn or ribbon around the house. Um, you can make all kinds of really cool things. So I cut out some feathers to stick on my hat here. And so I can glue those on tuck them in. Oh, those are fabulous, right? I've got a nice little bow here. I could stick on my hat. So get creative, see what you have around the hat, hat, around the house. And you can make all kinds of cool hats out of a paper bag. Remember, take pictures of what you make and share it with me. Please enjoy this paper bag art hack.